Hello, my name is Vera Smolininova. I'm a professor of physics at Towson University. I will tell you about our latest work on electromagnetic cloaking. The idea of cloaking is based on so-called curving of optical space. Optical properties of materials are characterized by the way they react to external electric and magnetic fields. These properties could be tailored in such a way that light will avoid a particular cloaked region of space. Typically, this is done with metamaterials. Recently, we have demonstrated that the same effect may be achieved by much simpler means. When light propagates inside a waveguide, you can literally bend optical waveguide and achieve the same result. Three years ago, we were able to create a large broadband invisibility clock by placing a gold-coated lens on top of a flat gold-coated glass slide. Empty space between the gold surfaces acted as the waveguide we need. The area around the point of contact was clocked. Light rays propagated around this area. Now we have extended this work by making tens of thousands of clocks arrayed in a periodic fashion. Instead of a large single lens, we use the microlens array. Normally, these devices are used in CCD cameras and multi-channel sensors. In our work, we have coated the microlens array with a thin layer of gold and placed it on a gold-coated glass slide. Instead of just one clock, now we have made tens of thousands of clocks simultaneously. All these clocks in the array operate just like the individual clocks studied earlier. But now we are able to study how all these clocks may interfere with each other when they are forced into close proximity. Simple symmetry consideration indicates that arrays of slightly imperfect clocks, which work well enough individually, will start to scatter lots of light when illuminated at some arbitrary angle. This behavior becomes very clear in our experiments. Thus, we have demonstrated a very sensitive way to test clock quality, which could become useful in the future.